Uh, actually, an architecture drawn this a few times before, so uh, here goes. Uh, this is what I call my $100 uh, presentation. I mean by $100 is I think I could drop a $100 bill on a table with any Fortune 1000 account, and if they don't look like this, then they can keep the money. So uh, if you're brave enough, try it out. But uh, in, ex in essence, what you're trying to do is to understand how a company's got to where they've got to, and then how you solve their problems moving forward, and, and why we're, we're pretty useful for this. Uh, so first thing happens is, um, and these little round things, we'll just call these source devices, and they can be firewalls, routers, servers, applications, you know, anything that IT buys. Um, and uh, let's, just, let's just call it five years ago. Um, first things that kind of happened was, uh, I got a problem with my IDS IPS, so really what I want to do is to take all my firewalls and switches in, take my information into a security event manager, and then basically anything it has which is interesting I'm going to store. So we'll call this storage, and um, you know, and this is the application side, and here's the network, you know, and here's the source devices. So what you, you, you kind of need to look at is the way in which people do things is they do it very pocketed. So in other words, solving the problem for a specific individual, specific use case, and that was it. So SEM is really good, but it's very, very focused on what it, it tries to achieve. The interesting thing about a SEM is it's not high-scale units. So in other words, EPS can't ingest a huge amount. So what you do is you, you condition to talk about the customer with exactly what they want to do, the requirements, and to ring the bell and basically find out what they need. That's what security event management does. Same organization basically has a compliance issue. Let's just say that they decide that they have a PCI, PCI SOX, FISMAN, uh, doesn't matter. SOX and PCI are, are the generally two big ones. And, and again, for PCI, what they do is they, they need to ingest uh, a lot of source information and they're going to store it for forensics um, and off they go, they've got their storage. Uh, same organization. So again, the SAM is capable of ingesting that much and the PCI is very, very pocketed. Um, the same organization. Uh, invariably will have a forensics tool, uh, which actually isn't the same as security event management tool or the PCI, or the for, uh, but it's, it's different. So, um, and guess what? Same thing. Uh, they end up having to get the ingest the source devices and they have storage at the back end. Um, and the list can go on. So change management, you know, we can have a, a change management product, you know, and then uh, even traps. So, you know, I need something to basically watch my trap data. And, and I might not need as much data as necessary, but there's going to be some places I'm really going to use it. And, and, and that's really what, what I would classify as the accidental architecture. So the challenge is you have multiple source devices. Each one of the sources now has to have a way of getting the information off for each of these individual applications. And uh, one, two, three, four, five. So it's five um, different uh, use cases for a, a set of source devices. So here's some interesting numbers for you. Um, 65. 30, 150. So just deposit this and I'll, and I'll come back to that. So basically, the challenge with this is, is multiple, threefold, I guess. One, what I described here with source devices. Two is each one of these applications needs to be maintained and monitored by an individual. Um, so therefore, cost of uh, TCO and ROI of these is pretty high. Uh, the data at the back end here is basically frozen for that specific application, and each one of these ones is in its own specific dedicated silo. So these numbers, a uh, customer told me that 65% of all the network traffic was logs. Another customer told me that 35% load add per app for Windows login <laughs> login so um, every single one of these guys here basically if you've got windows will need windows login login and every single one of them will actually drive an additional 30 percent load onto it and uh, just to kind of show how proliferated this I talked to a bank recently that had 150 apps uh, using log data so it's easy to turn around and say, well, no, I don't really do that. But I think when you start to really look closely at it, there are the big buckets that I've talked about here, but there's a massive amount of use cases behind it. Now, of course, you know, the simple thing, looking for my dry wipe, my board rubber, is 
you kind of got to ask about face. So that's what I call the accidental architecture. Uh, what you really want to do is to look at it and say, how do I cut down the network traffic and the cost of maintenance? And I've got all of this security data that's hanging around inside my enterprise, which is a bit worrisome in itself. And the TCO is ridiculous. And so what you really want to do is reverse the model, take the storage out, put your network, create some sort of vacuum cleaner, suck all the data in here, normalize it, and then filter and forward to your multiple use cases. Uh, if you take convergence of NOC and SOC, which is also happening, what you really want is a ubiquitous tool that allows you to serve use cases for security operations, network operations, IT operational efficiency, all the way across the gamut. That's what we produce, um, and that's the way in which we can help alleviate the accidental architecture. And, and to be very clear, we're not replacing each of these, we're actually augmenting it. So a large majority of our deployments have uh, ArcSight, HP, I guess you call them now here, or Q1 Labs here. Um, they have uh, people like uh, ourselves, um, you know, on the, on the um, uh, uh, PCI compliance side or Archer. Um, they actually serve out with SNMP traps. And so we actually have a very um, uh, uh, complete web service API set to allow people to create their own uh, users and use cases for connecting into this uh, data architecture. But again, that was kind of the accidental architecture. This is why it's very important for us to move towards it. And, and you know, real saving, 65% of all network traffic was logs in one, one specific case. They had four or five sends, which is ridiculous. 30% of the uh, of load, every time Windows people log in, it basically pushes the network up by that. That was another customer quote, 150 different applications using the same data set. So this market is ripe for uh, consolidation and um, uh, that's the next generation, so VMware, um, storage now us.